It's a really disappointing, sinking feeling right now, just because I, we know the results. Uh, all the emotion from the from the win is gone. And that's probably the best way to explain it right now. You know, it was it was great in our building. Uh, it was a great environment. I thought our guys worked hard. Credit to Nashville. I thought they played extremely hard. Uh, it was a good hockey game, and. You know, it, I, I guess this period or, or this game tonight kind of really captures our our team. Kind of a slow start. Once we got our legs, we got going, and it was a great finish. Um, and in the game, it was good enough. You know, this season, it over the season, the 48 games, it, it, it wasn't good enough. We were one point short. And Todd, it's certainly disappointing ending, but the way this ride, the way this team played from. You know, after starting off five and twelve, and you got to be proud of what the effort and this way, the, the energy in the locker room, and how much this team has grown. Uh, let's talk about the how many, how much, how many strides this team made. I guess as the year has gone on. Extremely proud of the group, uh, really. You know, everyone from training staff to coaches to every everyone involved with the team, everyone. Um, you know, it's the work, and that's what makes it so hard. You know, the, you know, you get emotional and, and everything like that because of the time that you put in. And everyone put their heart into it. And you could see it out on the ice with the players. You know, and when you when you battle that hard, it, 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 that's when it hurts. But that's the good thing. You know, the good thing is, is it has to hurt sometimes, you know, for you to grow and, and move forward. And, um, I think the fans appreciated the efforts, you know, the effort tonight, but also in previous games and the way we finished the season. And, uh, you know, we've, we've started something now. And we have to learn from this because we were one point short. No matter how good we played, we were still one point short. So that just tells me we weren't good enough for the season. You know, the last 20 some odd games, we were 20 plus games, we were one of the best teams in the West, if not the best team in the West. But it shows the importance of starting strong and maintaining that throughout the season. Um, you know, we dug ourselves a hole and we got out of it somewhat, but it wasn't enough to get out. From day one, you've always been positive in describing, you know, trying to be a positive energy for your team, for the players, for everybody. Finishing short of your goal of reaching the playoffs, I mean, how do you, the disappointment tonight, how do you turn this into a positive from tonight and the way you go about it? Just from from tonight, not so much from the season, but from tonight. It's it's really tough for me to to answer that question right now. Just again, it's a lot of emotion, uh, a lot of disappointment. Not in our team by any means. Just disappointment at obviously the way it finished. That we were one point short. Um, I, I don't know if I said to you guys this. This group was a is a really close group, and it it. I, I don't know when it was. I, we've talked about this before, about whether it was a moment, whether it was a game, whether it was a play that turned it around. Um, but I've told people, I've told people close to me, friends and family, that it feels like a team. It feels like a, like a team. You know, they care for one another. And it shows out on the ice. You can see that. You know, guys are genuinely happy for other guys when they have success. Bob, with all the success he had, genuinely happy and playing for the for the guys in front of him. And that's a great feeling. To you know, to build on and to go into next season, and obviously the expectation now is get in and move forward, right? When you have start having success, the expectation level goes up. To me, the standards. You know, have been set, and I still think we can go higher with our standards. You know, from our players and how we need to play the game. And, uh, uh, but there's there's the bar is set, and we've we've, as John Davidson would say, some bricks have been laid as far as the foundation. And it is something to build off of. It it, it is just with a, a a work ethic and a passion to play the game and and to play hard, um, uh, playing as a group. You know, unselfishly. You know, a lot of those adjectives you want to hear as a coach, you know, that people describe your team, it, it's there. It's there. And you can see that the fans appreciate it. 
and being a Midwest boy, being in a Midwest town, which I consider Columbus, that's what people want. You know, give us an honest, hard effort every night. And I think our guys did that. What is the number one takeaway for you from this season, Todd? Number one takeaway? Mm -hmm. I, I would say just a really resilient group. Really resilient group. And just, you know what, really proud of them. Really proud of them. Because bar setting is so important for this organization, do you want your team to focus on the 19 5 and 5 finish or the one point short this offseason? I want well, both. I mean, it, it, we did a lot of good things, really good things. We were a really good team coming into this finish line. But it was our start that, that killed us. And, and to me, we, we can build off of what we've done here at the end. But we also have to understand that, that you know, game one is probably, it, well, it is. It's, it's two points. It's just important as game 82. And, and that's the attitude. And we got to be ready to go. we got to invest over the summer. Coaches, you know, we aren't exempt from that. We have to get better and we have to be more efficient in how we do things. Are there better ideas out there in how to play the game? Uh, management has to be better and, and players have to be better. We all have to. So when we come back next September, you know, we, we've laid some, some, there's some groundwork there now and something to build off of. But we all got to come back ready to go. And when the puck drops, focus on those first games so we aren't digging ourselves a hole and putting ourselves in it. Because every game is important. Every game is worth two points. Todd, with tonight's game, I think it was about seven minutes or so before you guys got your first shot on goal. Was it a case where maybe early on and you guys couldn't find a rhythm and maybe a little bit too amped up with everything that was at stake tonight? I think we were too amped up. I think we were caught up in it. And, and some of that might have been my creating as well uh, as a coach. I think once we settled in, once we got our legs, we started to play. And, and you have to give Nashville credit, too. I mean, they came in and off the get-go, their pucks were going to the net. They were four-checking hard. They were playing fast. And again, the crowd, the atmosphere, you know, sometimes it gets a little hard to breathe. You don't have the same energy that you had before. And, and again, getting caught up in it, sometimes your style of game, your gameplay changes. Uh, big crowd, big, you know, you want to make the play instead of just keeping it simple, pucks to the net, pucks deep, doing the things that allowed us to have success. And you, you looked at the third period. I mean, we talked about putting pucks at the net. I think we finished with 25 shots. And if you continue to do that over and over, eventually you, you would think that one's going to find its way through. And we were fortunate that two did. I know during the season you kind of demurred when asked whether you thought Bob should be a Vezina winner. Now that the season's over, are you changing your position on that? or? me there's no doubt now I'm saying that because I watched Bob play games I mean there's other very good goalies who had great seasons out there as well but having watched Bob and really his progression throughout the year from start to finish and his improvements and how he grew as a player and the other thing I I take on that is is not only Vesna but MVP because of what he did to this team. And it's not only his numbers, his stats, but you know, a big way in how we played here coming down the stretch, just our identity as a group was because of our goalie.